Sorry, Hannah. Did you like the game? Yeah, it's not something I would play, but I'd recommend it to my sisters. What aspects did you like about the game? Like how the characters looked on it and the graphics. What did you not like about the game? The writing when you first try to log in. It's a little hard to read. Did you think it was cooperative and competitive? Yes, or like an online community and you can make a guild and stuff like that on it. What did you think about the quests? They seem pretty competitive and easy and fun to do. Would you ever play the game again? Personally, I probably wouldn't, but I'd, I'd recommend it to my sisters to try. Alright, Nelson, uh, did you like the game? Yeah. Uh, what aspects did you like about the game? The um, um, ability to just um, fight other people um, and combat through the ranking system. Uh, what did you not like about the game? Um, some parts of the website here just doesn't say anything except the word something. That's basically it. Did you think it was cooperative and competitive? Yeah, because you couldn't have guilds and play with other people like that. What did you think about the quests? Uh, they didn't seem complete, so we worked on more, but then it didn't seem bad. Would you ever play the game again? Yeah. In this uh, particular project, we were working with a programming language called PHP. It is a high-level programming lo language that is web-based. Um, one of the issues that I had with this was that I've never used PHP before and so while syntax and logic is generally similar if not the same from language to language, uh, there are differences which you have to master in order to be able to use that language well. For example, one of the differences with this compared to Java, which I'm used to using, uh, was that we were using a database called MySQL and with this I've never even touched it or have had any experience whatsoever with it. And so for the most part that's where Michael came in and he was able to use his, his experience from previous projects using PHP to be able to make this project what it was. As Josiah said before, we're using the PHP coding language, which is a server-side language. And the reason why we chose a server-side language is for the fact that it's really robust, it's really efficient, and it takes most of the resources off of the consumer. The reason why we didn't want the consumer to have a strain on resource is so that people can play on any type of laptop, computer, tablet, phone, and not worry about having delay or lag issues loading times, such as like uh, if we use JavaScript, which is more of a client-side uh, scripting language for web-based uh, games and on websites and stuff like that. So that's really the main reason why we use the PHP language. Um, again, we did have difficulties. Uh, with only using server-side language, like um, when people completed the quest, um, how did it update on the client side on their MySQL database? And um, in order to do that, we had to send it to another script that forwards with a header location uh, back to the actual page that we were on before. That was one big issue that we had using uh, server-side language, but we ended up getting around them. This game is targeted for people who are interested in MMORPGs and are also interested in games with the medieval time period.